Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G9 Power and today I will show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And to get started let's find it in our notification panel, let's extend it and look for the toggle which looks to be right over here, do not disturb. So before you actually tap on it, you do want to hold it. This will take us to the settings where we can customize how it works. So starting off, we have the calls, you can tap on it and it will expand a couple options right here. So allow calls from anyone, contacts, favorites, or don't allow any calls. Now for this purpose, this is showcase another thing. I'm gonna go with don't allow any calls, which remains with this option right here is for the allow repeated callers so if you have enabled don't allow any calls uh, in theory it should block basically everyone who is calling you so you shouldn't see any kind of notification about it but if you have this enabled below here uh, if someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period uh, you will actually get the call anyway so this is a good option for emergencies when something happens usually people call you multiple times till you basically pick up and they don't really care about time and uh, what seems to be logical. So this will allow them to basically reach you in a way, because otherwise you wouldn't be even notified that someone is trying to call you. So this will allow them to get a hold of you, or actually you act knowing that someone is trying to get a hold of you. So going back, we do have uh, messages right here, which has almost exactly the same options as calls so uh, everyone no one contacts favorites and you know choose whichever one you want just like with the calls uh, we don't actually have the allow repeated callers here so choose whichever one you want without that option then we have restrict notifications uh, so this will allow you to customize how notifications are appearing on the device so you could have no sound from notifications no visual or sound from notifications or customize it to basically specify what can give you some sort of notifications and what sort of notifications overall. Um, so you could go to custom and basically set it up yourself. Then we have uh, default duration. This will be selected whenever you press on the button. So if you choose to until you turn it off, when you press the button, it will turn it on and then you do have to turn it off yourself manually. Then you also have the option for uh, specific amount of hours so if you select it right here when you press the button it will bring up uh, the timer and you can add hours to to the timer or you could go with the best option which is ask every time so once you confirm that and you actually tap on the toggle it will bring it up and you can select it from here which one you want at this moment and then at the very bottom we have a schedule and this will allow you to set up a schedule so you don't actually have to mess around in the settings and customizing it turning it on or off yourself it will be done automatically for you so all you need to do is go in here and either enable the ones that come preloaded into the device or you can add your own so let's go with the time one you can name it whatever you want and from here we have days so once you tap on it, it will bring up all the days of the week and you can keep selected uh, or you want to uh, select or leave selected the days of the weeks that you want the uh, do not disturb mode to work during. So if you want them to work only on weekends, well then disable everything else apart from Saturday and Sunday. If you want it to work all the time, keep all of them on. Then we will have the start time. So select what time you want it to start in. So I'm gonna select it to be, for instance, the time that is right now, 5, uh, 50, let's make it 57. There we go. And I'm not sure if it's PM or AM. It looks like it might be AM. So let's confirm it. And from there, you can basically back out of it. And as you can see right now, the do not disturb mode is dis disabled. But after what is it, like another 30 seconds or so, once it actually turns on, you should see it pop up as on, assuming it is actually AM. Come on, anytime. Now, while this is, uh, while I'm waiting for this to actually turn on, I'll mention uh, that apart from the schedule, you can still turn it on yourself by tapping on the toggle 
located right over here whenever you want and depending on how you set it up it will either uh, give you the window where you can choose if you wanted to turn on uh, for an hour or however long or if you want if you want it to be turned on till you turn it off and also I'll mention that if you have a schedule set and you select it to be on until you turn it off uh, once the time approaches for the schedule to turn it on it will well, just stay on but once the time runs out it will actually turn it off disregarding the option for you when you manually turn it on to be on till you turn it off and it looks like it was supposed to be uh, p.m. but there is no p.m. anywhere so I had no idea so that's why it didn't turn on but in normal circumstances it would now turn on assuming you have selected to be a correct time but that is how you would enable and also set it up and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching